In this video, I'm going to share with you how working from home can almost be like printing money from your computer. Okay, so let me tell you what this is really all about since I'm not really printing money but I am making money from printing type activities so here's what the deal is I'm actually reselling brand new or unused toner cartridges or inkjet cartridges you know these are the things that um, people put inside of printers that allows them to print uh, so all those toner cartridges and inkjet cartridges um, they're, they're worth a lot of money right so you can always use them um, and if you can't use them there's somebody else that can so I'm gonna share with you how I get them for free that's right I'm able to get these things for free and then I just resell them on eBay for a profit so here's how I did it here's my secret so first thing I do is I search Craigslist and I look for printer toner cartridges or inkjet cartridges and what I'm looking for is finding them for free because I can often do that you know I can find them for free and the reason why I find them for free well take a guess right so people who own printers every once in a while they change printers right so either the printer breaks or they want the new model and so they go ahead and they upgrade and they change their printers and oftentimes what happens is when they do that change they still have toner cartridges or ink jet cartridges that they haven't used right so they buy them they store them um, with the thought that they'll eventually need them so it's you know saves them a trip to the store but if they change the printer in the meantime now what are they going to do with the old the old cartridges they, they can't really use them anymore so oftentimes they'll just give them away for free because um, they're not worth anything to them at that point and so they'd rather give them to somebody than to try to sell them or something like that you know because and that's where we come in we're gonna take them or I get them and I, I resell them because I do have the time to um, make a listing and post on eBay and sell it and then package it up and ship it out and so for me I'm willing to do that for some folks it's convenient for them to just donate it give it away so that's what I'm gonna try and do here and I'm gonna walk you through a demo where I get them and then I resell them for a hundred percent profit let's take a look here's one for an HP 93 print cartridge it's a free and unopened tricolor cartridge let's check the price over on eBay so it's HP 93 cartridge and again we want to check new and we want sold let's go ahead and sort these out um, here's five of them for $95 so it's about $20 a piece here's three of them for $64 so you're looking at roughly $21 $22 a piece Two pack for sixty dollars. That's thirty dollars a piece. Here's another one I found off Craigslist. It's a free toner. It's the ninety-two two ninety-eight A. So this is for an HP printer. So let's go ahead and check out what th what this one will cost uh, by going over to eBay. So over here on eBay, we're going to go ahead and type in the model number for the cartridge. And we're going to check, let's see, this one was brand new, unopened. And let's check the sold items. And then we're going to sort by price. So here we see uh, remanufactured for $70 and sold. Here's three of them for $60. Brand new sealed in a box on $19.99. But check it out, the shipping is $27. That's, what is that, $47 for this one? Here's one uh, new sealed in box, uh, free shipping, and it sold for $45. The next one sold for $20.95 but the shipping is $23 so it's actually this is a 40 $44 so 
let's go back and look at the listing. So this toner cartridge here should fetch around $40 to $45 on eBay. And this next one, it's a Dell 9833 toner cartridge, actually cartridges, so there's three boxes of unused black toner, model Dell 9833. Let's check it out on eBay, Dell 9833, and we want new. Sold, so we'll check the prices of this product that have sold. Let's go ahead and sort these. And oh, the very first one, right? So there's uh, three of these. They're the Dell 9833 black toner cartridges for $75. So that's $25 a piece. This next one, there's two of them for $60, $25 a piece, or $30 a piece. So that, that appears to be, and here's this next one, um, one cartridge for $44, $45. So it's safe to say, probably get about $30 for this, uh, each one of these toner cartridges, and there's three of them. All right, so now that you've seen what I've done, I've shown you three examples. Let's take a look at my results. So the first one uh, was an HP 92 inkjet cartridge, or uh, toner cartridge and it was worth about $20 uh, the second one was HP 98 and that was worth $40 and on the last example I actually found three cartridges you know the Dell 9833s uh, worth about $30 each 25 to $30 each so the total there was $90 and if we add all this up we're talking about $150 in inkjet and toner cartridges and these were ones that I got for free from Craigslist. People were just giving them away. And so I've just shown you three examples where you could collect them, um, relist them on eBay. They're not relist, but list them on eBay and you could sell them and it's $150 profit, right? There's no, no money out of my pocket um, to, to purchase them. I got them for free and then I sell them for $150. So all that is completely profit. So what did I do? How did I get into this? Well, for me, it was all about taking that first step and, and jumping into action, right? So I had to go through and do the work up front, search tra Craigslist, um, coordinate a time to meet with the people that were giving these away, uh, get them, uh, create a listing on eBay, uh, list it on eBay, and then list it on once I had them, I had to go ahead and make a listing uh, for eBay, post them up on the site, and then you know wait for the auction or the buy it now to run out. And then uh, whoever won the auction, uh, package the item up, uh, put a label, ship it out, and then collect the money from there. So it's, it's free money, but you have to work for it, right? So there's some effort and time involved in order to get this cash. Now, I can't guarantee success, you know, it could have been that I got the cartridges and nobody would have wanted them. That's completely possible. Or, you know, like in my case where I got them and I was able to, to sell them, uh, it worked out really well. But, you know, like I said, there's no guarantee, but you do have to try it. And if you don't try it, you're never going to know. So that's another reason why you've got to do this is because you don't want to have regrets later on in life. So you have to uh, make up your mind to take action. And then realize that it's not 100% guaranteed, but go out there and try it because you don't know. Maybe it will be. Maybe you sell one of them, you won't sell the others, or maybe you sell all of them, you just don't know. So the first thing is you need to prepare and, and set up everything you need to get this in place, right? So you're gonna need an account on eBay. You'll need a, an account with PayPal so that when people pay you, you can go to your PayPal account. Now to get a PayPal account, you're gonna need typically a bank account or a credit card, something like that. Um, and then be able to search Craigslist. You need some time to go through search Craigslist, kind of coordinate with the, the people that you get these from. Um, learn about how to create a listing, learn about, you know, create a listing on eBay, learn about how PayPal works and get all that going. So you need all those pieces in place so you can do this. And then once you've got all that, then you go ahead and perform this strategy, right? So it's all about 
getting those things in place um, and then taking the action to go out search Craigslist find the listings go out contact the people get the free stuff that they're giving you right the, the printer cartridge the, the inkjet cartridges um, so that you can resell them you can list them on eBay resell them and then collect the money in your PayPal account it's 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 exactly what I'm telling you it's it's pretty straightforward but it is work so you're gonna have to do that but really the first thing you need to do is just to go out and do it hi quick announcement we're super excited about this new ebook titled 20 ways to make an online income if you're stuck thinking about different ways that you can work from home get this free ebook it's real simple all you do is visit teachucation.com slash free ebook and we'll send it right out to you you can also click a link in the description below Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. And also, be sure to subscribe so you'll get access to all my videos. And then, click on the bell icon so you'll get notified every time I release a new video with more tips, tricks, hints, and secrets. If you have a dream of working from home, make a plan, take action on that plan, and start living your dream. Hey, so I've got a quick legal disclaimer here. The content that I'm sharing with you should not be considered as financial or legal advice. What I'm giving you is strictly for educational purposes only. So if you need to, please consult with a qualified professional regarding your specific situation. Now that I've got that out of the way, let's get down to the real content.